Well, hello Capricorn. Welcome back to Peony Lore, where we help you to find the beauty in all things. This is going to serve for all sun, moon, and rising sign of Capricorn from the 23rd until the 29th. Um, as I've explained to um, Pisces, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, and Libra, uh, I'm doing the signage in the um, areas of where the transits are hitting first. And I do apologize about not getting the signage up yesterday, but I was not feeling well this weekend, not not well enough to try to film. Um, I was in bed for the first kid this weekend in a long time, and I was in bed just like, you know, catching up on my Z's or, uh, you know, just trying to, to feel a little bit better with what was going on. So, having had said that, um, we are always going to go in with your sacred geometry card first because that is... Um, how we're doing it <laughs> and we are going to use the in-between tarot cards in two ways this week we're going to pull three cards that describe some of the older energies that are still potentially in your area that need to get managed this particular week or things that you are still working through um, we're going to use the steampunk tarot deck as your base for the week and then any majors that come up in that base will be further clarified not only with our white sage tarot but also with the in-between um, at that particular moment and we will use any of the other oracles that I'm being called to use. It looks like um, there are a couple of different oracles that have been popping out for each of the different signs, and I'm just rolling with it, okay? Um, okay, so the first card that we have from the uh, Sacred Geometry is number 10. It's unlimited potential. It's consciously creating your reality. So this is MasterCard 10. This is allowing new things to kind of come forward for you in your environment this particular week, okay? So that's what we have as our base energy. <clears throat> I'm being told to pull out um, one of the cards from the seven um, energy oracles for you. So that's what we're going to do to support that. And then we're going to go into the energies from um, the old to the new. So recent up until this particular moment. I realize that you're not going to see most of this until, you know, Monday night or, or Tuesday potentially if you're, if you're tapping into it. But um, there's, yeah, well, that's why. Um, there's a, a couple of different transits that are in play this week where Capricorn is involved. And so that's why we're doing it this way. So the first thing is that Capricorn... We have a higher view that's coming in, so a higher level of perspective that's coming in for you here. So there's a, an, an invitation to change something a little bit to help you get to that point. You have card number 44, which is talking about the divine matrix, um, being all up all in with what the universe is trying to provide for you and things that you've already tried to manifest to bring forward. And then we have the royal you, which is uh, card 16. So for many, many of you, this is going to have a lot of spiritual implications coming into it for this particular week, which, you know, hey, that's all fantastic. Um, let me go ahead and pull a couple of cards here from the in-between tarot. And, you know, of course, these are generals. I try to read all of the different ways and combinations that this stuff can work for you so that you can take what's yours and leave the rest for somebody else. And if you don't seem to uh, gravitate toward anything that's being said in this particular part of the reading, then you would have to know your chart because maybe you should be looking at your sun, your moon, your rising, or your north node. So, of course, that's always how that works. Um, the other issue is that if you are resonating with something in here and you want to have a little bit extra clarification um, for you or anybody else, but <laughs> I am available for personal readings. That's what I love to do. Um, you can take a look at the description box below and you will be able to find all of my contact information within so that you can book a personal reading with me. Okay. Now, the energies that we have going from the past up, uh, up until now, recent past, is we have the energy of the moon and the sun. This is the energy of just kind of floating and receiving the clarity and feeling comfortable with the clarity that you're starting to receive at this particular moment in your expansion. The next card that we have here is the Queen of Wands transitioning into the King of Wands energy. So this is... You also being recognized for what it is that you're doing, the efforts that you've already started um, physically manifesting and people recognizing what it is that you're doing at this particular current moment. And of course, that is going to bring you more prosperity because we've got the king of queen of coins trans transitioning into the king of coins energy here. So that is the energy that you're bringing towards you this particular week. Again, unlimited potential, receiving a higher view, um, 
the divine matrix, part of the divine plan, and then the royal you is where a lot of that energy kicks in from uh, past energy until now. So we're going to use our um, steampunk tarot deck to lay down your base every single day of the week. And then while I'm putting these base cards down, I do have my notes here in front of me for the energies for uh, the most important pieces. I'll go ahead and read those um, while I'm um, shuffling and getting these base cards down here. So today obviously is, uh, by the time again you see this, is late in the evening or potentially maybe Tuesday when you see this. Um, today happens to be Monday. It's the next day after the big... Um, uh, blue moon that we had the full moon in Aquarius so if you still need an opportunity to, to do some full moon releasing today's a great day to do that um, so we definitely have Venus that's in Libra which is doing a trine with Saturn in Aquarius so that's that expansive energy and then Venus and Libra is trying to um, uh, show you the balance with what that expansion needs to look like we also have the moon transitioning into the sign of Pisces we also have Uranus um, it, doing its little dance and partnership with Uranus. So that's a full energy with Taurus, our steady Eddie, with our values. Okay, so there could be some new things that are going to show up for you. Now there's an opposition that's going on with Mercury and Mars in the Virgo position. And then we have a conjunction with Neptune in Pisces. So Neptune is the energy of the hangman. Neptune is the energy of, of trying to gain that broader perspective, that higher view that we that the cards just tried to show us. So I de definitely feel that um, uh, there is something that is in this message for you. When we get to Tuesday's energy, what we have is the moon transitioning into the sign of Aries, and that's going to be transitioning all the way through Thursday. Um, on Wednesday, we have an opposition with the moon in Aries and Libra in Venus, and so that can affect some people's drive. We have the Ten of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse, which I like to be able to see. Thursday, we have the moon in Aries doing its dance with Mercury in Virgo. Virgo, of course, is the season that we're transitioning into now, and it is the perfection of self or the perfection of service. Um, Mercury wants to go very, very fast. And it's pushing people into the energy of the magician and into that perfection of service and perfection of self. Now Capricorn um, has got this dance with uh, Pluto on Thursday that shows up here, okay? And so that's that steady value or that persistent value that we have going on. You have a pair um, that have shown up. We've got the strength in the upright and then we've got the six of wands in the reverse position on Thursday. On Friday, what we have is um, we have the area of Taurus um, transitioning with a square with that Saturn in Aquarius. So that Taurus, that steady Eddie value um, versus the expansion. And then we have a trine, though, with Taurus with the sun in Virgo. Okay, so that's important. And then we have Jupiter um, uh, in the sign of Aquarius still trying to run through and do some things. Okay, so now we have the Six of Pentacles that shows up on Friday. On Saturday, we have Taurus, which is just all over the place. Taurus is just all over the place, all over the map. We've got some dancing going on with Uranus. We've got dancing going on with Libra. So Venus is very much in play because Taurus is run and ruled by Venus. Um, uh, it, Venus rules Taurus and Libra. We also have Neptune, which is tra transitioning into Aquarius at this particular moment with a trine with Pluto in Capricorn. So Pluto is... The energy of wanting to bring something new to you, it's change, it's transformation, it's rebirth, it's that really juicy energy, that's the judgment energy that comes through here. Um, Neptune is the energy of the hangman, I think I said that before, but I felt like I needed to clarify that. And then Sunday is, there's a lot of energy that's going on on Sunday as well. We have uh, Mercury in Libra, which is, you know, testing your balance um, and pushing pushing things into play while we had a lot that showed up for you, Capricorn, uh, for the weekend energy. So Saturday's energy, we have the Empress in the reverse position, also with the Chariot in the reverse, reverse position. And then on Sunday, we have the Seven of Cups with the Queen of Swords. So just to finish off the notes, um, the Moon in Taurus has a trine with Mercury in Virgo. And then there's also Taurus in Aquarius. Uh, that, excuse me, Jupiter and Aquarius, that expansion of dreams um, kind of mixing in where 
Um, Mercury wants to come in really, really quickly and change some things up. So there is a lot of energy this week, and I'm going to take my time, and I'm going to get through all the things. And again, we are going to do clarifiers, but let me go ahead and just read what I have here. Um, you're not the only sign that's gotten pairs. Two of Wands here on Monday, a choice being presented to you or a choice that needs to be made. There's an expansion opportunity for something that is that you want to do. On Tuesday, it looks like with this Ace of Wands in the reverse position that there might be a little bit of trepidation or also could be a little bit of timing factor that's in play here for you, Capricorn, on Tuesday with wanting to move forward with something, but then... Um, there's a little timing factor that shows up. When we get to Wednesday, we're in this gorgeous energy of the Eight of Swords in the reverse position, which is great because you're releasing yourself from any, like, mini devil <laughs> energy, um, self-imposed limitation, realizing that you're the only person that's stopping you. You can move forward past any type of a challenging situation that may have been presented to you, um, especially when it comes to timing, something like that. Now, on... Um, Thursday, we have the combined energy of the strength in the upright position with the six of wands. Now, so the strength is that Leo energy that comes through. It's that heart chakra that's that self-expression energy. There's healing that's coming forward or towards you in this particular day. And with it being paired with the six of wands, what I'm feeling is that if you had had a situation where in the past you were feeling potentially like you were not getting the recognition um, that it is that you were looking for at that particular moment. There's a healing that's coming for you that's going to be important for you to understand that. It is possible that you're dealing with the fire sign. It doesn't necessarily have to be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but I do want to put that in there. It's possible that a, a Leo may have, oh, I don't want to say it this way, it, it's possible that you have something going on with a Leo um, in, in your energy and that you are trying to maybe repair something that was going on with this Leo, that strength card that shows up there on Thursday. On Friday, however, we've got the Six of Pentacles, which is balanced information, um, actual um, balance with giving and receiving. Okay, again, Taurus is all over the place on this Friday, so these Pentacle energies kind of show up where they're supposed to, in my opinion. Also, it could be you getting back to balance Capricorn here with that Saturn um, in Aquarius energies for expansion that wants to come through. And when we get to the energy of Saturday, we have the Empress, which is in the reverse position with the Chariot. So, when you get this combination on Saturday with all of the changes that are happening, first and foremost, okay, we've got Libra. Um, that's the Empress energy, also supported by Taurus, which is telling you that there is a change that is coming in here with this Cancerian energy with this Chariot card moving forward. So normally when the Empress is in the upright position, she is not waiting for anything to kind of come through. She's manifested what she needed to manifest, and she is um, just waiting for things to come forward. When she's in the reverse position, it usually means a couple of different things. It means that there's room to manifest more in one sense. And the other thing is that <clears throat> something that you may have manifested may, may not have arrived in the way that you wanted it to in the past. But the chariot is here to say now you have the opportunity to grab those ponies and go in the right direction. So this is a very spiritual card as well um, with, the, with the chariot card that shows up here. It definitely means that the universe is seeing, seeing fit to kind of clear your path a little bit from something or somewhere that you want to be. Um, it may not necessarily be very, very easy, but they are clearing out the biggest bumps that they possibly can. You're still going to have some. You're still going to hit some, but you're at least going to be able to control the situation at this particular moment. You will be at a position where you can control um, the drive um, uh, and, and what that means for you. Therefore, when we get to Sunday's energy, we have the Seven of Cups with the Queen of Swords in the reverse position. So it's possible that you're dealing with an air sign. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but I did tell you that Mercury was doing its dance with Libra on this particular day. So Mercury is the magician, right? So the magician is pushing um, for some magic to happen. So when the Queen of Swords is in the reverse position, first and foremost, there that is a, a strong level of clarity, okay? It's a queen, so it's strong level of clarity. Now, when the Queen of Swords is in the reverse position, she is being less analytical and she's being more in her heart about the way that things need to happen. And what's going on with that, I feel, is that we've got this Seven of Cups. Now, this has come up for a majority of the signs this particular week, so there's some significant importance, I think, for the collective. 
The Seven of Cups energy really does indicate possibilities, um, potentials, um, options that you have, and some people call it confusion. I don't really see it as confusion. I see it as that the universe wants to give you all of these things, and what you really just necessarily have to do is start with the first thing, and then the second thing unravels, and then the third thing unravels, and then the fourth thing. So it is an, a, a huge smorgasbord of abundance that is available for you, and in order for you not to get a little bit overfull at the table, <laughs> Take things in little smaller chunks and um, you'll be able to, you know, digest them a little bit more um, easily. And again, this is being more heartfelt and listening to other people at this particular moment instead of the queen coming in and chopping off people's heads, which is a bad rap that she gets. Everybody needs this queen of swords at some point in their life. But when the queen of swords is in the reverse position, that's an opportunity and an invitation to listen to what somebody has to say more so than doing um, anything else. So that was a mouthful for me. I'm kind of used to it at this particular moment. I've been talking for almost an hour for every sign. So hopefully you're able to stick with me at this particular second as we get into it. And we're going to clarify all of these cards individually. So we definitely are going to go in with the in-between on Wednesday, Saturday. Wednesday and Saturday are the days that we're going to go in. Incidentally, Thursday and Sunday are the best days in the week. Thursday is a great day to be able to um, start a different type of a project if you really need to. And then Sunday is the day where um, it, it's great for um, um, producing whatever it is that you might need to be able to produce on that day. So let's stick with today. Let's stick with Monday. We've got the Ten of Cups in the reverse position on that Two of Wands. So, you know, the universe just wants you to make a choice. And the universe is saying, at some point today, you will have received communication and clarity with this Page of Swords that is here. Now, the one thing about the Page of Swords, and I do want to bring that up because it came up very strongly in another reading, is that you don't necessarily have to continue to look backward for your happiness, for your success. Um, you're being presented with a choice. You're being presented with an opportunity to do something here. It doesn't matter if you go left or you go right. The universe is going to support you either way. And either way, it's going to lead you to the right direction. So when you've got this Ten of Cups that's in the reverse position, and then you've got this Page of Swords, and then you've got this Aquarius card, the universe is saying to you, hey man, or hey woman, <laughs> whatever the case may be, you have this um, opportunity that is sitting in front of you here, this Ten of Cups moment. Now, what that Ten of Cups moment means is that there might have been a lack of clarity or lack of communication when it came to something that you really, really wanted, which is why you're being faced with this, you know, this new choice to come forward. The Page of Cups is, excuse me, the Page of Swords often is looking backwards. Did I do the right thing? Did I say the right thing? And maybe if I did this, this, well, no, you don't need to do that. The other instance that pops up with this Page of Swords, because I'm going to cover all the bases, is that someone is desperately paying attention to what it is that you're doing right now. Um, that's just a piece of information that you need to know, but it is in the current energy. So the other contemplation is that you also may potentially be doing something online or might be receiving this next piece of information that you need from an online resource, whether it's education or whatever the case may be, that piece stop, pops up. But... To have the star card here at the end of the business day today, like I said, if you did not have an opportunity to get into the full moon um, release ceremony, releasing the old so that new things could come in, today's another great day to capitalize on that energy. And the star card is talking about bringing in wishes and wants. It's also talking about providing you with um, a healing as well. So we have several healing cards that show up in the deck and the, and the star card definitely happens to be one of them. You've got unlimited potential. So I, I see this as the universe saying, don't worry about what was going on. You have another opportunity. You've got another chance to bring forward what it is that you want to be able to have brought forward to you. Now, Tuesday's energy, tomorrow's energy, the Ace of Wands, excuse me, that is the Ace of Cups. I beg your pardon. This is the Ace of Cups, but it is presented in the reverse position. So that is the indi indication that there might be... Um, um, some healing that you have received and you're in the active phase of that healing. Sorry, wrong deck. Um, it definitely can mean that there is a, an abundance of you pouring something out into someone else more so than you accepting this healing for yourself in one sense. 
like you're pouring out this gift from the universe to somebody else. So this is just a heads up from the universe. Look at, we're going to try to give you some healing here. Can you please hold on to it? Cause this is for you. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here for Capricorn. Yep. Here we go. We got the hangman showing up here. <laughs> He's showing up in the reverse position, which is talking about the fact that you might need to self-sacrifice is a word that's that's highly tied to this card for me as I'm sitting here and I'm reading this. It is possible that you're dealing with the Libra. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but there is justification when we're talking about this energy on Tuesday with the moon transitioning into the sign of Aries and will, right? The other card that wants to pop out here is the judgment card. So this is what we were talking about. This is Pluto coming in here, Capricorn, and letting you know that there is something here that's for you, okay? Um, this is second opportunities. This is second chances. This is refresh, rebirth. And whatever it is, is absolutely for you. So if you felt like you had to sacrifice something and you had to pour something in completely to someone else, this again, which is one of the reasons why the star card is here, um, to restore you now, because I kind of know where you're kind of going to go with this information on Tuesday, just know that the universe is here. And when the universe shows up with the energy of Pluto like this, you really have to be ready to open your arms and receive what the universe wants to give you. That's basically the nuts and bolts of what this particular spread looks like for you on Tuesday. However, on Wednesday, you might have received part of that lesson because you've got this Eight of Swords in the reverse position, uh, now allowing yourself to move forward. Uh, you're not stuck. You've made a decision or you've gotten to a point where there's uh, clarity coming through. You know what the next thing is. You, you have a good idea about what the next thing is. And there's a higher perspective that you would have learned from that Tuesday. Okay. So what we have here, la la la, we got the moon card that shows up. Um, we Again, there is an opposition with the moon and Aries um, with Libra and Venus, which can sometimes affect people's drive. Okay, just know that that's the energy that shows up. The energy of the moon um, can also indicate that there are a lot more heavy emotions that you're releasing yourself from, um, secrets, um, different types of things that you've been wanting to bring to the surface, perhaps that you haven't been willing to discuss with other people. That's a potential. Um, hmm, there's the Aries energy that shows up there. Um, here on this Wednesday, this is the moon in Aries. We've got that opposition going on here. Um, Aries energy, like I said, is that self-will. <laughs> um, that, is, that is what they're about. Okay. Um, let's find out what else we have going on here. So we have the tower in the reverse position. So the tower, this is the first time I've seen. No, it's the second one. Who was the first sign that got it? I think it was either Pisces or it was Aries that actually got the tower. So the tower in the reverse position is really kind of the universe's way of sharing the fact that Mars definitely wanted to be able to come in and shake something, shake something up for you. But from a higher perspective, this is the queen of cups, right? She basically has many, many, um, um, well, I don't want to, um, many high priestess in a sense because she's highly, highly intuitive. It is very possible that you are dealing with the water sign. And we have Taurus that showed up as well. Um, that you're dealing with the water sign. The water sign, um, I I as far as the um, Queen of Cups is concerned, is she's like, look, <laughs> I've been through this. I've done that. I've had to live through all these different types of changes. And I can really share with you, if you're willing to kind of come in and have a consult with me, I can share with you how to best navigate and rebuild this castle, but it looks to me like something old would have already happened for you in a sense with the tower being in the reverse position and or the universe is trying to protect you from something. So kind of dodging a bullet, if you will. Now with the higher effect showing up in the reverse position, it can sometimes indicate that you're not necessarily in your heart chakra. Um, it can also indicate that you are releasing yourself from a pattern uh, that has to do with higher learning. Um, that has to do with an official situation like work, um, it, having to do with your graduation or elevation of self and potentially not really learning the lesson that needed to be learned at that particular moment, but it definitely can mean, okay, um, both the hermit and the higher font in reverse indicate being a little bit of a loner and trying to do things on your own instead of letting people come in and help you. So that is a full story in its own. However, 
it does indicate to me that this eight of swords in the reverse position you're at least getting yourself out of that stinking thinking energy that's there okay to allow yourself to move forward so now when we move and transition into the energy of thursday you've got the strength card again with this six of um, wands in the reverse position you didn't necessarily see feel or get the um, recognition potentially that you were expecting to get it's possible that you're dealing with the Leo it doesn't necessarily have to be but I'm covering all the bases again um, but there definitely is a healing that is coming through and or you have gotten to the point where you're taming yourself in one sense um, and owning whatever that happened to be um, it, maybe you weren't being recognized maybe the accolades had to go somewhere else and you have to just kind of pony up and maybe own that for a particular situation but let's go ahead and get into this because again it is a healing card the strength card that shows up um let's see what we've got here for our capricorn why well whoo that was a whole story and a half Three of Swords in the reverse position, releasing yourself and healing. Okay, so that's what that means. Something was super uncomfortable for you, but you are, uh, you know, you're you're in the active phase. It can potentially have had something to do with a workplace, with the Eight of Pentacles that's in the reverse position, and there is freaking Venus showing up on Thursday. Um, Capricorn and Pluto, judgment energy, the moon switching sides, uh, moon switching to Taurus through the week, and then again the moon and Aries pushing Mercury in in Virgo. So what I'm getting out of this whole situation here, for sure, for sure, for sure, is that your self-will was challenged potentially in the past, and they're wanting you to own that so that that can be healed within yourself. You are in the active phase of healing, and there's just maybe a little bit more work that has to get done. It's possible that with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position, you're just not feeling like motivation <laughs> to continue to do the thing that is that you're working on or it has something to do with physical work or not becoming the master of your craft um, so the empress in the upright position though is gorgeous energy because at, at its best it's saying that the manifestations that you put out there into the universe are wafting their way towards you you don't have to do anything anymore at this particular moment especially if you were able to take advantage of this Monday's energy today right and it's carrying forward from whatever was going on with this full moon this star card coming in and, pro and providing you a little bit of this healing situation that's coming through with this next choice that you have to make again all about higher perspective I'm gonna take one more card on the Empress Yep, the Empress is um, talking about whatever the situation was that was showing up for you was just being temporary at best because now you've got the Nine of Swords in the reverse position, which means if you were having problems sleeping or if you were having anxiety about this other person, this Five of Swords, this energy of this individual that was really a thorn in your side, and if you had to say your piece and count to three, you did what you needed to be able to do to defend yourself to a, to a specific position and you probably would have won the argument so the universe is just trying to say you, you, it, what's done is done okay and you still have good things coming for you at this particular moment okay so then when we get to this balanced energy of Thursday the six of Pentacles um, I'm sorry this energy that I was talking no that is no this is Friday sorry Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday 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 all day long the pentacles showing up here, Taurus, all day long. Saturn in um, Aquarius, Jupiter, the sun in Virgo. So perfection of self, self-will, perfection of self with self-will. And then um, the Saturn in Aquarius talking about expansion, especially with those pentacles coming in. So six of pentacles can mean that there's a gift. It can mean that there's um, something that's coming in that's so expensive that you wouldn't have to pay it back. It could be like a loan. It could be any of the different types of things. It definitely means that if you are starting something and you put something into it, you're going to receive more than what you thought with the Six of Pentacles. But there's definite balanced um, giving and uh, balance with giving and receiving. We have the Page of Wands that's coming in here. So that is the new communication or this new concept of this new passion project uh, uh, or idea that's coming through that you have to take some steps towards toward making things work um, under the page of wands what we have is the wheel of fortune I swear this is coming up for everyone right on time so the wheel of fortune coming in here Jupiter at this point coming in here say yeah 
this is for you. Jupiter's here. It's talking about second chances. It's talking about luck, okay? And the other card that comes in here is now the Knight of Wands. So we've got a progression that's happening here, which I really, really love. The Knight of Wands is coming in very, very quickly to not only deliver what the page is talking to you about, but doing it in fast order. So Thursday is going to be a kick-ass day. Um, like I said, I'm sorry, this is Friday. Friday is going to be a kick-ass day for you. Whatever this Thursday energy is that you had to, to, had to deal with, by Thursday, you're going to be, um, I feel, very much back in balance, Capricorn, with things that need to happen. Now let's get to this Saturday energy where we got Libra, Venus again, and this chariot information that's coming in. So Saturday, again, we're talking about Pluto and Capricorn. We're talking about expansion in a sense that Pluto is the judgment coming into your sign about duty and perseverance. We've got Neptune in Aquarius, and we have Libra in um, transition with Uranus, also with Taurus. So this Empress that's showing up here, in my opinion, is either talking about a Libra or it's clarifying something that's going to be happening with the Taurus. But you definitely have the chariot that is here. So moving in the right direction, okay? So the first card that pops out, Libra information for me. Um, we have the Queen of Swords. Of course, it could also be a Gemini or an Aquarius, but we've got the Queen of Swords coming in here talking about ultimate clarity um, and being able to wield that sword, which is very interesting because this is the card that shows up on Sunday in the reverse position. I'm uh, also clarifying. So there's, clar there's clarity that's coming here, or you're definitely dealing with a Libra. It could also be a Cancer that you are having to make a decision about. Um, and, and getting some clarity on. But at this particular moment, the Queen of Swords in the upright position is trying to help you with what these Ten of Pentacles mean, okay? Um, I feel like it's kind of defining what those Ten of Pentacles mean for you. Doesn't Because Ten of Pentacles doesn't always have to mean money for people. It can mean time, resources. It can mean a new job. It can mean lots of different things. It's the abundance for what it is that you need. It also has to do with your legacy and your family, okay? So there could be some clarity coming for you with regards to family in this particular day. And we got the nine of wands in the reverse position. So yes, this is indicating that there's a lot of tired energy that is showing up here. And here we go. Hmm universe you can't pass i'm not taking all of these i'm just not going to i am going to take the ace of wands <laughs> i am going to take this new um clarification this new passion um for for what it is that you want if these cards want to come back out then i will let them come back out individually but what i feel is that you've got clarity moving forward in the direction that you need to go you're going to be able to use your judgment if you're happening happening to be dealing with a libra at this particular moment and it has something to do with family and you've been a little bit tired just know that the universe is showing up here with this ace of wands there's timing uh, that comes into play here for you with this forward momentum with the chariot okay now these wishes, wants, and plans that we have here, right? So if you were listening to this Queen of uh, Swords here before, um, listening, listening. So now that you have an opportunity to list, uh, re review what it is that you want from those Seven of Cups, start with one and go to two. This is what we have for you, Capricorn, okay? What we have here... I came back out. This is the <laughs> this is the lovers card. So this is the energy of Gemini in the reverse position. It means that there would have been some um, miscommunication in some sort of a ship relationship. I don't care if it's your shipmate that you are living with for life, um, boyfriend girlfriend, that type of thing, domestic partnership, or could be a business partner. There was something that may not have been. Um, communicated in its best light in the past, a choice that was made uh, in its best light as far as communication concern. Um, it definitely had something to do with you moving forward in your life, in your career with this Eight of Cups. There is that momentum of, I've done everything that I can do. It's time for me to move forward at this particular moment, okay? Graduation energy in a sense. We have the Two of Wands that shows back up again, just like you had it started from the beginning of the week. Whatever it is that you're deciding within these next couple of days is for you. You cannot make a wrong decision when the Two of Wands shows up. Both roads leads to the same place. You just have to be, make the choice to do the thing that's most comfort, comforting to you, okay? I'm going to take one more. 
<clears throat> and what we have here is the Four of Swords. Yes, definitely you're going to need to rest after this. Um, th take some time this weekend because you've gone through a lot. There looks like you've gone kind of the gamut a little bit. <laughs> you're definitely going to need to take your rest. And there's more information that's going to be coming towards you in your dream state. And at the bottom of the deck, what we have is the King of Wands showing up, talking about uh, your passion project being um, uh, being successful with whatever this new move forward is. This King of Wands shows up in order to support all of those different things that need to happen for you. So, woo, that is a lot of information, Capricorn. But now let's go back through and just real quick, let's just kind of clarify the majors that we have here. As far as the base energy was concerned, um, well, we're going to have to do it this way because specifically Tuesday, um, let's just take one card on the star. That's kind of important because they keep calling out that healing that is going on here. So let's, let's go to today's energy. The two of wands, the 10 of cups in reverse. Again, happy moments, maybe not being felt changes in the, um, household or relationship or whatever your ship happens to be, whether it's business or not, potentially looking behind you, wondering if you made the right decision or if you're going to make the right decision, the star coming in. Let's clarify that star. Okay, we're not taking all of these. Come on, you guys. I really don't mind, but can you just give them to me one at a time? All right, here we go. The star for our Capricorn on Monday the 23rd. Okay, we've got the Two of Pentacles transitioning into the Three of Pentacles, which means an expansion of um, an expansion of uh, additional people, bringing new people, and maybe contemplating the fact that in order for your Pentacles to be where you need to be, st stable wise, in order to be a little bit more balanced, you may have to bring other people into your fold. That's exactly what that energy happens to be clarifying the star. So. Um, that is the energy for today. Tuesday's energy, again, you didn't have anything on the base, but because you had all three major arcana as far as the clarifiers for why that Ace of Cups was in the reverse position, we're going to pull, okay? The Hangman in reverse, receiving the information that you need, Justice again showing up, talking potentially about a Libra, and Judgment showing up here, that Pluto energy that wants to be able to come through to change things for you and give you a second chance and second opportunity. Okay, <laughs> we have the Knight of Cups transitioning into the Queen of Cups. So this is taking responsibility at this particular moment. That's exactly what this is. It's taking responsibility for what it is that you, what your part in the whole situation or ship happens to be or needs to be. Growth, <clears throat> moving forward with growth, going within receiving your information from spirit. This is the um, Page of Swords transitioning into the Knight of Swords. This is a lot of growth that is happening very, very quickly in order for you to make those decisions. I feel that the hangman is here to talk about going in and receiving, making sure that you're going in and receiving or would have had the reception of the information already if the hangman is in the reverse position stating that you've gone in and you received the information and you're not resisting, okay? And finally, one more card here on that. Oh, whoa. Nyeh. Okay, yeah, we've got the death card uh, into the temperance card. How did I, there we go. We've got the death card into the temperance card here, which is talking about whew, resisting the healing. So. Uh, that is why they wanted me to spend a lot of time on that. So the death card wants to come in. That major Scorpio energy wants to come in to talk about new opportunities. It needs to get rid of the old so that the new can grow. Temperance showing up in the reverse position is meaning that you are resisting allowing this change to come forward in some way. Like you're not willing to, not for all of you, but for some of you, like you're not willing to see that you have to spend this time on yourself. You want to give, give, give to somebody else in the universe. is like, you can't give everything that you've got, 
we, we're trying to fill your cup and you're trying to give it to other people at the same time we're trying to fill it you can't do that you really need to sit with the energy of this water energy at this particular moment it's the holy grail of information right physical mental spiritual this ace of uh, ace of cups you've got to be able to hold that for yourself you've got to own the fact that spirit is trying to share with you hey this is for you so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna change the order you have to go in okay um, own your stuff <laughs> own whatever it is go within receive the information with this hangman in the reverse position don't resist it you have to be able to be balanced and own your stuff with this um, justice card and you cannot resist um, this healing that we've got for you so when the judgment card comes in again it's talking about being ready to take this gift and so please don't shoot yourself in the foot on Tuesday, um, know that whatever is coming is coming for you and you alone. It's yours, okay? So let's see. I am going to pull uh, a card for Wednesday because your clarifiers are all but one um, major. So this Eight of Swords, though, like I said, I like the energy because you're starting to feel that you can release yourself from whatever's um, holding you back. This self-imposed limitation, in a sense. Can I get it? Okay, thank you. Mm, two of Wands. <laughs> in reverse. Um, the Two of Wands into the Three of Wands. So you are definitely making a decision. You made your decision. And it is going to help you expand to where it is that you need to go. I love that. That's all that needs to be said on that particular day. You're not going to resist. You're not going to be able to resist um, that particular day. Okay, when we get to Thursday and we have this energy of this strength card, let's see what's going on here with the strength card for our Capricorn on Thursday. Whoa, that was super fast. Thank you so much. Ooh, I got this. The Nine of Swords in the reverse position. So it sits right here on the Nine of Swords right next to it. So yes, this was a temporary situation at best. Um, and you were almost at the point where you're going to let all of this craziness go. The other card that pops up here is the hangman in death. So this is releasing yourself from ego. That's basically what it is. You are releasing yourself from the ego. Um, and you're going to allow some other things to kind of come through. I like that energy very, very much. Okay. Now let's move into the energy of uh, Friday. I just want to hit this wheel of fortune for you. Like what is going on on Friday with the Six of Pentacles? We're doing a lot of work. You're doing a lot of internal work this week. There it is. We got the Nine of Coins transitioning into the Ten of Coins. This is all about your independence and releasing yourself from anything that you feel is you're struggling with codependencies or someone is connected to you that is um, hanging on to this codependency. So this energy here with this wheel of fortune looks like it's going to be able to release you from any codependency that's hanging on there um and that ten of coins like i said you're right at that point where you are realizing that this is greater it's greater than you kind of in a sense um if it was in the upright position absolutely you're getting ready to walk into your bounty but at this particular moment with it being in the reverse position you have to realize that if someone is hanging on you they got to go or you got to be able to release yourself and feel confident in your independence of this particular moment, okay? Now, when we get to the energy of Saturday, we have the Empress and then we have the Chariot card. If more for me, this is about the Chariot because the Empress, I feel, is denoting the fact that it is showing up for you on time with all of the Taurian energy that is taking place, okay? So show me the chariot card, please, for our Capricorn on Saturday. Thank you. Yes. So we have judgment again with the world. This is now you're ready to receive. Your angels and other people are meeting you and you are getting to the point where you are going to level up. This is divine timing that is showing up for you. This is definitely for you. Love it. Um, <clears throat> closing off the cycle. Finishing off a cycle, saying what you need to say, getting it off your chest, uh, doing your thing here. Did we have, not really, but I do want to hit this, I'm, I'm nosy, I want to find out what's going on with this lovers. I know this is not going to relate to everyone, but for some people it is. Can I get a clarifier on the lovers card on Sunday for Capricorn here with these choices? Yes, yeah, you're walking away from someone. 
Um, you have made a decision that something that was in your past is no longer for you. You are making a better decision. You are making a new choice. You are making a decision that is going to support you better going forward. You, again, you've done everything that you can do with this Eight of Cups in the upright position, and you are definitely going to be making the choice that is going to support you and your girls going forward. That is a lot of work that you're going through this work, Capricorn. So again, make sure that you take your rest and you will receive more details from spirit now i am going to go back and i'm going to review all these things you have unlimited potential this week you're leaving something old and something new is coming the universe is talking to you about a higher view a higher perspective on something they are also talking about the divine matrix divine timing they are also talking about the royal you leveling up from a spiritual perspective they're also talking about the fact that you are starting to see the light with whatever change, challenge, or situation that's coming forward, especially if it came to you not receiving the accolades that you wanted from a person place, okay, so place of business potentially, and at the end of the day affecting your, your, your finances in one way, shape, or form. But the King of Wands is here. This is entrepreneurial energy, um, and it is the natural realization of the formation of that manifestation starting to come into play. This is the week that it starts to happen for you, okay? Now, to wrap this up, we are going to go into the um, Angel Oracle here. Whoops, that didn't do any good. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. One more time for the people in the back row. There we go. This is for our Capricorns. Oh, that was super fast. Yes! At the end of this week, you will be feeling as though you have complete harmony and resolution to any old situations to allow you to move forward with ease and grace. The therapy angels want to offer our Capricorn what? That is way too much. Sorry. That was me. I fat fingered it. <clears throat> All right, what do we have here for Capricorns now? Here we go. Archangel Michael. Um, Archangel Michael, you're working very closely with this um, powerful Archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. So if you need to go within, please call on Archangel Michael to support you, okay? Let me make sure. No, I didn't have another one that popped through. Capricorn. Mm. Shuffle up and deal. We will have one more oracle after this before we go back into the... <gasps> I was going to say, did I not pull it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Psych. Never mind. Uh, before we go back into the uh, card here for Crystal Medicine or uh, Mantra, okay? Okay. Your path does not have anything to do with it being a competition. It's not a competition, okay? It's not a competition. Mystical Wisdom Oracle Deck for Capricorn. There it is. <laughs> uh, take time for relaxation and adventure and if you haven't had an opportunity they're telling you that you need to take a vacation you have gone through and are going through a lot this week you're definitely are going to need <laughs> an opportunity to completely decompress okay so we're going to go back into the sacred geometry again this is unlimited potential card number 10 meaning you're at the end of the old to allow a new cycle to come through and that's very very exciting so what we have here is your mantra, okay? So your mantra is, I am able to reach my unlimited potential by releasing old unwanted energies and allowing for new energies to enter my life that will benefit me on every level of my being, okay? The card is telling you to um, assess which part of your life feels stuck, maybe, okay? and needs clearing unlimited potential can help you see that you need to move away from issues that are making you feel stagnant whether it's people places or things okay life is about to change period and you need to clear a path to allow for the new energies to come in do not resist the healing that the universe is trying to give you okay life is giving you choices 
to help support you with this. So if you need some support from crystals this week to help keep you grounded and to help keep your thoughts clear and things of that nature, then what you're going to want to use is some shungite. You can use Herkimer diamond. You can also use green malachite, okay? So um, Capricorn, I know that was a lot. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me towards the end here. Um, If you feel like you need a little bit additional support, then I invite you to go and check out the description box and maybe take a, a small, quick booking with me. This is a lot of information, and some of these might need to be peeled back a little bit more. For others of you, you know exactly what you have to do. You are making a decision to move forward and past a person or a situation or a workplace that is just no longer serving you, and you've been holding back because you're trying to make sure that everybody else is taken care of. This is the week for you to be focused on you. Okay, and you know that it's going to work out for you. Um, hopefully you guys were able to resonate with a significant portion of what it is I was able to lay out for you this particular week. And if you did, um, would you please give this a like? You can comment below. You can share this out to somebody else. If you're just breezing by um, and this is the first time you've been to my channel and you appreciated what was going on here, please consider subscribing. Again, any information that you need for personal booking with me is in the description box below. And Capricorn, I can't wait to find out what happens for you next week as you migrate all these big energies. So thank you very much. Many, many, many blessings. And we'll talk to you next week. Bye for now.